Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Experimental Craft and today we're gonna get going on some refined storage. Got a lot of requests to use shaders again so shaders are back on although I've been having some issues. See the sun or lack thereof? Um, so the shaders seem to think that it is completely cloudy 24-7, so I have to turn the cloud cover off. If I turn up the cloud cover to normal levels, it sort of just makes it so that it doesn't work. Like, the sun's hazy. It somehow thinks that it's sort of a cloudy area 24-7, like it's raining, but I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, I think it was mostly working fine yesterday, but this still looks pretty good. Anyway, I turned on the water. I turned on uh, caustics and all the water settings, so the water is at maximum quality right now, but the rest of the shaders aren't on max quality, so the water looks pretty fantastic. Uh, even if the rest of everything doesn't look quite as good as it could. Shadow resolution's a little low, whatnot. This is what it looks like with shadows all the way completely maxed. It looks pretty fantastic. And the frames are actually not too bad. I should wait, no soft shadows weren't on yet. There we go. Now shadows are 100% maxed. And we're still rocking 60-ish frames per second, not bad. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep that down a bit. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I want to work on, uh refined storage since last episode i spent so long trying to get slime balls started like oh man it was ridiculous but we learned all about tech reborn which i guess was an upside to that so let's see i will toss a bunch of this junk in here don't really need to bring my illumination wand uh by the way this is what it looks like uh with shaders it's kind of kind of cool you do need to turn on one of the experimental settings in the cuda shaders otherwise this looks all green and weird why cog compression you have to turn that off otherwise it won't work oh you know what we should do we should turn on ambient occlusion because that always looks beautiful okay yeah my frames per second just went way down um but it looks a lot nicer ambient occlusion really adds really adds to it. It's experimental, and it really, it cuts, like, my frames by, like, 40%. That hurts. So today, what we need is a sword and just random stuff to take with us so that we can fight these terrible magma blocks or, wait, what are they even called? Magma cubes. That's what they're called. Lost my train of thought there for a second. So I'm gonna get some food going and then go. But anyway, guys, uh, if you have any suggestions for this series, anything you want me to do, I'm probably gonna start working on the house either in this episode or the next one. Like, I wanna expand this. I don't wanna live in this forever. I kinda wanna chop down all these trees as a bat. But we're gonna morph into a bat, which has one lowly heart, and we're gonna go for it. Oh, look at this. Okay, now there is a lot of light sources, but... Shader seems to be handling it just fine. Whoa! I just pressed X. And I I can view my entire inventory. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Are you kidding? I can swap all of these with my hotbar? So I can press X2. Wait, no. X2. And now I have this. But I can do X1. <gasps> That's amazing! So I can swap for each of the lines of my inventory. I can access anything in my inventory without opening my inventory. That's amazing. Number two, I'll get my food out. No, back to back to number two. Boom. This is fan. Oh, that that's cool. So yeah, guys, X. If you're playing this mod pack, press X and it uh opens that right up. I don't know how to close it though. <laughs> I'll just do it again. Got some skeletons in here. Oh, there's another one of those things. You do need to kill quite a few of them to be able to make something, uh, to be able to make, like, some sort of generator? I forget exactly. Maybe I'll go after it later, but right now, all I need is magma cubes. Oh! What was that? I just pressed V, and there was an explosion. Why do I explode when I press a V? 140, V. 139, so it does use durability. Why do I explode when I press V? Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's have a gander here at what on earth is doing this. Metamorph. Use action. V. The action of a bat is explode? I thought that was creeper. I thought the creeper's action was explode. But apparently, it's not. Oh, and I just threw out my sword. No, no, come back. Okay, we got it. So that's kind of funny. Oh, hey, and here's someone else's portal. I wonder who this could be. Oh, it's a hive block. But where are you, magma cubes? All I need is one. Ooh, dimensional shard ore. <gasps> wait. Wait, do we have RF tools dimensions? Okay, we don't have the dimensions mod installed yet. But if we get this dimensional shard ore, it will definitely help us out. I'm going to vein mine it. 
so that I get it all at once. Or not. Vein mine, you know, work? Okay, well, JSM did say he had to program it individually for all ores. And would you stop? Oh, auto jumping. Auto jump off. But dimensional shard ore is kind of rare, so I'm glad I was able to find some. I pressed T and then I clicked wave and now it won't go away. Oh, it crashed. Wait, now I have three hearts as a bat when I join back. But I'm gonna disconnect and try and uh, turn off my shaders while I'm in the nether. It seems to be having issues. Oh great, my shaders are messing up again. Oh no, I'm getting this bug again. I gotta quit game and restart. The modded is a little bit buggy with shaders, you could say. Well, I'm waiting for the pack to launch. Uh, let's see what's on Twitter. <laughs> awesome image just got locked out of his apartment. All right, we should be good now. Enough Twitter browsing. All right, we're in, and it still says I have three hearts. We should be okay. Well, that's a jast, but my sounds aren't working. Hello? Okay, yeah, sounds are broken right now. Yeah, okay, I fixed it. And Z to make the minimap bigger, okay. Oh, is that more, uh, more of that ore? It is! Give me some more of this. Dimensional shard ore. Well, that's a ghost. How you doing, buddy? It's a wrath. And he does want to kill me, looks like. So maybe mobs are yellow on the minimap. This seemed like the perfect place to find magma cubes last time. <gasps> Speaking of which, we are in business. Oh, wait, we don't want him to fall into the lava. No, 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 come back this way, come back this way, come back this way, bub buddies. I don't want the items to go in the fire. All right, so I'm just gonna smack you a little bit. Okay, here's the medium ones. Oh, we got one. All right, I can't pick it up yet. I just, <laughs> I have to be very careful when I'm on one heart the entire time. All right, if I get one more piece, that means I can make two solderers. Come on, last one. Oh, I didn't get enough. All right, well, die, all you little ones. Eh. Only the medium ones give me these beautiful, beautiful pieces of magma cream. And guys, I actually just came to my mind that I haven't died yet on the modded server here. I haven't had a death. I've just been hanging out, having a good time, and I haven't uh, haven't died yet. So that's good. But this looks really weird with the with animated chunks the way they load in in the Nether. It looks really good in the Overworld, but in the Nether it looks a little funky. Oh, I didn't check what color the magma cubes were on the mini map. Aw. Well, I'll be able to see it on the video when I edit it. But anyway, guys, let's get to making this refined storage. And I might need to go mining again, but hopefully not. Home sweet. Well, not not a very home sweet home yet. But someday, someday soon, this shall be expanded to the point of to the point of a like a lot. Anyway, uh, let's get some of this, put it in here, and uh, watch it work. And that's out of fuel. Do we have any of that cheap wood? As in fir wood? Oh yeah, it's it's already got enough power anyway. There we go. We have enough. We can finally begin. Make a bunch of quartz iron. We're gonna need all of it. And make a solderer. Okay. Now we need to make a controller, which requires a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I need to smelt some quartz to get silicon. I am gonna run out of iron though. Like, I have pretty much no iron left. After everything I did here yesterday, making all these. So I'm definitely going to need more of that. But let's just see if we can get something started here. Oh, I also want to make a quarry. So maybe we should work on the quarry first, and then items will come in, and we'll get enough iron from that. So let's make the machine casting, and then make the controller. Boom. Pow. A builder block requires... Oh, it requires an ender pearl. Right. Is there any other way to get an ender pearl other than killing an enderman? Not really. Level 2 cleric will do it. Stronghold chests will give them. Clerics will give them. Endermen will drop them. Literally no other way to get it other than that one weird crafting recipe. So basically, I just need to find an enderman while at the same time <laughs> mining as much iron as I can because that's what I really need right now. The nice thing about being a bad is you can just go right over things. You don't even need to bother leaving a trace that you were ever there. You don't need to place blocks. don't need to place torches. don't need to do anything except clear out the ores and fly away. Bats can swim, so I don't know why you take damage as a bat for water. Alright, well, I think I've got enough ores, but I really wish I could find an Enderman. Yep, no Enderman around here, but I will turn back on shaders. Alright, there we go. That beautiful realistic lighting. Get rid of that. Put in our stack of iron. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we do have another whole stack of iron. We'll take out that, too. And put in an, almost another whole full stack of iron. So since it looks like we're not going to get an ender pearl, we should start in on refined storage. And what we need is a grid that I will probably turn into a crafting grid and uh, a disk drive. And after that, I just need to make some storage disks, which aren't too hard to make. But yeah, let's get to it. Time to make some basic processors, printed iron, all that fun stuff. But to do that, need to power this thing up. Uh, let's see, which generator to make? I can make the coal generator from RF tools, 
which is pretty easy to make. I can also make another one of these Tech Reborn generators uh, that generates FE. JSM told me FE and RF uh, can be pretty much the same. I would like to make a diesel generator. I don't know where you get the diesel though. I think I'll make both and compare the two. And then I'll make five coal generators. Because why not? Why not make five? And it just converts coal to power. So we put that in with one piece of coal. One piece of coal is actually going quite a ways here. It's actually going to fill it up all the way? Wow. Impressive. And now it's filling up its own storage. Oh, now it's done. Okay, so it filled up that and its own storage up to about 2K. And now it's slowly going down because this thing uses 3RF per tick. Well, I mean FE per tick right now. So now we will make the Tech Reborn generator. Requires the battery and the basic blah, blah, blah. Boom. Plop that down. Now we gotta wait for this thing to drain all the way out of power, which we can speed up by soldering some things, which we need to do anyway. Uh, it's not gonna run out for a while. I will just continue working on all the other stuff until it does. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this for a little bit. I'll be back. All right, I've come to realize that this is going to take far too long, so before I even work on making storage disks or anything, I'm just gonna make the parts I need to make the speed upgrades, load up all four slots of speed upgrades, and then go. Nice thing about this is that each one I get, the next one will go by even faster. So by the time we get to the last one, it's going so fast that it barely takes any time at all. And boom, there we go, all four speed upgrades, and now this thing's running low on power, and then we'll finally be able to see how one piece of coal in this thing compares to this thing. So we'll see which one is more efficient. But let's see how long it takes to bin a piece of, wow, I didn't get to see finish what I was saying. It just goes so fast. Uh, how much more is it using? Oh, it's using 11 per second. That's actually more efficient. It's like four times as fast, but uh, uses only like three times the power, which is great. So look at that thing go. Woo! Even when there's nothing uh, running in it, it's still draining. So that's going to run all the way out. But for an accurate test, we're going to need to take all the speed upgrades out of it and see how much it fills up. All right, here we go. One piece of coal into the generator. It's going up slower than this generator but it's going up oh yeah there's no way this thing's competing there is no way it's competing it's almost out already and it barely charged it and, yep and it's out and now this thing's all <laughs> yeah this thing has no chance of competing whatsoever get out of here oh right you mine it and it breaks i don't care machine frame is more useful than that generator Wow, Z, can I use this to power these things? If that's the case, then I will be happy. Well, these things are already fully charged, so. Wait, can I grind the ores with the grinder? Oh, I can. And uh, this thing is feeding it power. Why did I ever use these uh, Tech Reborn generators? They are dumb. They're so inefficient. They're worth more as like, I don't even know. Oh, but, but we can actually double our ores. Oh, I just smelted all of my iron and I could have been doubling it. No, I didn't even realize that the grinder could do that. I mean, I thought I could do that. Like, I know there's grinders in the game, but I didn't, I just didn't think to. No. Oh, we have so much rubber, too. Look at that. Ah. Oh, no. Swap. Morph. We're good. Every time it rains, it's just, oh, man, the bat is just, oh, bat gets wrecked. This thing still has 20,000 in it. This thing can hold so much. So I'm going to just absolutely load this thing up, and uh, we're going to get things rolling here. Gonna put all four in there. We're gonna start printing. Ooh, an entity detector. JSM made one of these last season, but ah, you need enter pearls. We've only used one piece of coal, and it's already like 28,000 RF charged. Kinda thundering out right now. All right, we'll make some of these printed basic processors. That'll help a bunch. And I think we'll make some more printed silicon but first we gotta make some more silicon two processors and two quartz i will take two processors and two glowstone now i need to print more silicon which goes wicked fast <laughs> need to make a few more advanced processors here i'll just make four for now i think we can make a grid now yes we can plop that thing down boom pow uh, of course we can't put any items in it yet we don't have a disk drive boom pow print out a diamond cpu and uh, there we go, disk drive. Now we just gotta make a bunch of uh, storage disks. I'm actually gonna move that. I'll put it. Uh, I'll put it up there. My limiting factor here is glass and silicon. Mix more of them 1K storage parts. I'm actually gonna make a lever so that I can toggle this, so that I can only turn it on when I need to use it, and then when I'm not doing anything, just turn it off and boopity boop. 
because uh, right now I'm not using it, so no point in wasting the power from this thing. All right, now let's make some 4K storage parts. Uh, do I have any basic? Yeah, I've got a few basic processors. But every time it gets a little bit higher tiered. What am I missing here? Oh, I need more basic processors, right. Well, it should be easy enough. Turn it on. I'm actually going to need to make a lot more, so I'm just going to batch these up, make a ton of them. Now I can make some more 4K storage parts. How much for a 16K? We need to make the gold CPUs, which we can totally do. And there we go, a bunch of gold CPUs. There we go. I want to make a 64K. That's the goal for today's episode, guys. I really want to make a 64K part to start out. Like, that'd be pretty big for me. I don't think I really need quartz iron for anything else, so I bet I can just use all the rest of my quartz. And I will actually head to the nether and go mining for a little bit. And it is a raining right now. My pickaxe is actually getting super low. I'm going to need to make a new one in the future here, but I'm about to use up all my diamonds to make that 64K disc, so... Let's see. Oh, we got over two stacks of quartz. That might be enough. Oh, look at the grass getting blown by the wind. Yeah, it's raining hard. Oh, and the rain's at an angle. Look at that. Oh, and there's no water puddles on the ground. I'm going to turn that on. And now we should have water puddles start uh, appearing on the ground because it's raining. Yep, yeah, we do, including my floor, which is now covered in water. Uh, which is just great, but it looks really cool. Anyway, uh, let's keep smelting this silicon. Make some more 1K storage parts. I'm actually gonna need more, uh, more glass here soon. Oh, it's so dark. I missed my bat, but I can't be a bat right now. Just gotta forge through the darkness. Oh, and it stopped raining. Cool. Oh, this looks really cool with shaders. I always love nighttime with shaders. But, now that it stopped raining, we can move to a bat, which does, even with shaders, this gives us a little bit of brightness with a bat. Can you vein mine sand? Oh, <gasps> you can. I'm going to jump in and get that. Wow. Okay, so I just got two stacks of sand instantly. That's cool with me. <laughs> all right, I'm out. Peace. That's all I needed. All right, well, I have four diamonds, which is exactly how much I need to make the 64K storage part. Boop. Watch them go. May I need to get some more, some more printed silicon, too. All right, do we have enough? We can make eight more. All right, now I'll make some more. 4K storage parts. Oh, I need to make some more basic processors again. Actually, I think we have enough 1K storage parts now. Turn them all into 4K storage parts. Now we turn them all into 16K storage parts. And now we make the super duper advanced ones. And then we should have a 16K storage part. How do we make a uh, storage housing like that? Easy. Out of redstone. Oh, no, I'm not. We're good. If I was out of redstone... <laughs> That would have been uh, not too great. All right, storage housing. Beautiful. Now we get these four advanced processors. And now we get uh, to craft this thing, I think. Oh, we need quartz iron. Well, time to make some more. Time for the last bit. 64K storage part and 64K storage disk. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Oh, 64K storage. Now what we do is we toss all of our items in here. All of them every single one let's break the chests because we don't need them anymore we should just set up our refined storage over there because we don't need these chests anymore we've got refined storage with a 64k storage part mission is now complete and uh, well i mean partially complete we still have to expand the storage get a quarry going this season's only but started guys and uh yeah refined storage this is a big 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 improvement now i'll be able to get things done even better and everyone's gonna be jealous because I'm the one that has refined storage and nobody else is gonna be able to find slime balls they're gonna be like how did you get slime balls and I'm gonna be like well you can borrow my machines for a fee <laughs> yes indeed borrow my machines for a fee to get those slime balls because they are so hard to get it's like how hard is it to get slime balls apparently extremely hard I also got blaze powder from it so that's a plus didn't even need to find another fortress for that you know I think I'll turn my grid into a crafting grid real quick as well though all right all the chests are empty and we have used uh three percent of this one disc that we just made awesome that is that is a beautiful thing. That is why you don't use 1K storage parts. We would have had to already we would have already had two 1K storage parts full. So that's why you make a 64K. It's more efficient. You actually get more for the materials. That you get the maximum for your materials at 64K. You basically get 25% extra every tier you go up. So by the time you're at 64K, like you're gaining a lot. But let's see, what does it take for a crafting grid? Oh, we need the advanced processor. No. Oh, but we still have diamonds. I don't know where I got those, but uh, apparently we can uh, still make them. Boom, pow. Uh, I will need to uh, 
keep some coal in one of these chests just for emergency purposes. I will keep like four in there so that way I can start this thing up if it's ever if it's ever completely out of power. Uh, but I will put like five more coal in here. Yeah, like three actually. Uh, top it up. Now I just need a crafting table. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Crafting grid. Replace that back. And there we go. There's my item. Scared me for a second. Uh, but there we go. Now if I wanted to craft something, if I want to craft it like, uh, I don't know, a fluid. No, wait. Uh, like one of these things. I just hold shift on there and it automatically puts all the items in from my grid, which is just a beautiful thing. And I love having a crafting grid. Uh, I should place it over here And uh, now that I don't need chests anymore. But, guys, um, I think that's going to do it for today's episode of Experimental Craft. And I've actually been recording for nearly an hour and a half now, surprisingly. doesn't feel like it's been an hour and a half. I guess I have been enjoying it, and time seems to fly when you're having fun. So, one of the biggest accomplishments to get things, get the ball really going, get refined storage is just that's such a huge help. But next episode, guys, I'm actually, you know what? I'll work on this house in between episodes, uh, and I'll probably move it sort of over there and maybe move the portal to an underground basement, maybe make an elevator. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'll, I will work on that off camera in between episodes. But anyway, guys, but also I need to work on my 2K subscriber special animation. Uh, that's taking longer than expected, and animations are so hard, and rendering it's going to take forever too. But anyway, the 2K animation special will be out in like a few weeks. I don't know. I really can't promise, but uh, yeah, I'm working on it. Also, if you thought this episode was a little bit mundane or boring, uh, let me know with a comment, and I will try and spice it up, but I think this episode was pretty good. Like I said, I try and keep the modded more chillax, and maybe I can get a collab in the next episode, because I haven't done any collabs on this series yet. There's not as many people, I don't think, that play Experimental that did on modded season one. Maybe? Before, but towards the end, it was just JSM and I anyway, and I know JSM has been kind of busy. So he hasn't had a chance to get on and do much. But guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Now we'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.